to get into Rune Audio via the Raspberry Pi. I had to log in using the word root for the name and rune for the password. Pretty basic. It is the rune operating system 0.3, it's a beta version, and the uh, rune UI is 1.3 beta version again. I am using the Raspberry Pi 2. I have an Android device or you can use a PC as well. In this case that's a Windows 7 based PC which will also be used in this process. I will demonstrate the Android first. So um, what I have done is I've uh, set Rune Audio as my home page on my internet uh, browser and in my address bar here I'm going to type, I'm going to remove uh, I'm going to leave the HTTP forward, forward slash and then I'm going to type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi right there and it should load and it does. Okay, so I'm going to go to my library here and currently I only have a USB storage device two of them in this case then again I will show you real quick here the Raspberry Pi has two USB devices in this hub which is plugged into the uh, USB jack of the Raspberry Pi here so right now I am looking at the uh, two flash drives that I have and I'm going to I'm going to go to that one just click on it and boom there's all your files so for example, um, okay here in Boston, uh, oh boy oh boy I don't like to take too much time to um, look for a song. So uh, add that to the queue, you can go add that way, there's a variety of different ways of adding, adding uh, files to the queue. Um, this is an older song, this is just for fun, it's added to the queue, so here's the playback, um, let's find out what song we can go to, golden age, just push forward again, it just keeps advancing through that, you can scroll through the song like this real fast. Uh, you can share. You got sharing options. Take that song you want to share it right away. I just backed out of that and it took me right back to my home screen and I lost the interface. So again I gotta type in the address. I haven't figured out a way to keep it locked in. There we go like that. Go back to the library, um, add more files from the other flash drive. Um, take that one, add it. It's added to the queue just like that. Go back to playback. Or go back to the queue if you want. Select the song you want to play right away. Click on it click on it it's very responsive okay so you get used to the um, to the interface the volume control you have lots of options here the MPD I don't want to get lost in all the details here the Raspberry Pi HDMI output is going to the TV which is going to the amp right down there. The amplifier is being fed from the TV through an optical connection and it's going from an HDMI from the Raspberry Pi to the TV. 
All right, so that was a quick demonstration of how that works on the um, on the Android device. Let's go to the TV set here and go to the PC. I'm on the PC now. <coughs> it's gone to sleep. So again, up to the address bar and type in http colon forward slash forward slash and in my case here it's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi load that and Rune Audio just takes over your browser so Again, the library here, it gives you more uh, view of uh, more options. Again, I only have USB storage currently set up, two flash drives which are plugged into the USB drive, and there's all the files. The various keys on your keyboard will control the um, Uh, do, 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 do. I, again, I'm always, what songs to choose? Let's add this one to the queue, or add to the library, add to the queue. You can go back to the queue, or you can go to playback. But if you want to go to the queue to select the specific songs that you have chosen, click on it, and it should start playing. And it will play. It does play. It is playing. I just have to select again on my amplifier the proper audio output to get the sound to come through. So when I switch over to my PC, I have to switch over uh, the uh, appropriate audio selector on the amplifier as well. course it is not um, it's not outputting the sound to the why is the sound not working again sometimes the sound needs to be uh, you have to be patient. Somehow, some way, with the Raspberry Pi's output from the HDMI audio to the TV sets uh, audio through the HDMI and then to the optical cable from the TV to the amplifier, there seems to be some connectivity issues, uh, some protocols that might be glitchy or buggy. Sometimes the audio kicks in shortly thereafter, other times when I switch back and forth a couple of times it seems to to work. Looks like all my settings on the PC are proper and appropriate. And to go back to the TV's audio, TV switching back to HDMI 1. Okay, you heard the audio there that was coming through the system. There it is. Okay, so I can switch back to there, to the TV set, and I lose my audio. the audio output through the HDMI going through the Raspberry Pi on this setting right here is outputting audio. 
when I go to the PC, that's why my PC is connected to the amplifier. So now, to make the audio go through the PC, which it is not, there's no signal being fed to the PC. The only thing that is showing on the PC is the interface of Rune Audio, which is also currently on the Android device doing exactly the same thing. I can play with my Android device here and it just... but there's no sound coming out of my Android device either. If I had an audio connection going out of my Android device to my amplifier, it still would not be outputting any sound because there's no sound going to the Android device or the PC from the Raspberry Pi. It is only output from the HDMI cable into the TV into the amplifier which is turned on currently not now to the PC but here this is going back to the Raspberry Pi. This is the sound. This is where the sound is coming from. Rune Audio is coming from here. This is the Raspberry Pi's uh, splash screen. It's not even a splash screen, it's their desktop environment. It's, I don't, that's not even the right name for it. There is a, 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 an, a, an acronym that they use for this environment, this desktop environment and um, it's a command line I don't know anyways Raspberry Pi 2 Rune Audio 1.3 beta for the UI and 0.3 beta for the operating system so having said all of that I don't mind Rune Audio the sound quality of Rune Audio is not bad if you're using a USB drive. I, again, I can't really judge. I haven't used anything else. But I have to say that the quality of the sound is not as good as I would have expected it to be. Some of the bit rates of these files are like 128 kilobits and um, kilohertz, whatever you want.